One day, a group of penguins were enjoying themselves in the icy tundra. The penguins like to swim and play and generally do whatever it is most penguins do. There was one particular penguin, however, who was different than the rest. And he also was the littlest penguin. Hey guys, what's up? D Life here, and I am here with a game called The Littlest Penguin. It is a flash game that you guys recommended to me. You said you got that would enjoy it, so I'm going ahead and play it. So basically, we use the arrow keys to move, and we press up to jump. Up to jump. Oh, look how cute I am. Look at me. Make a little snow snow effect. Am I gonna go swimming? Jump in that water. Woo! All right, so press arrow. Oh, that's so cool. Look how far I go up, so I can go underneath them. I'm spying on you. The littlest penguin liked the other penguins well and fine enough, albeit in small doses. He was much more interested in going on adventures, and he felt that today could possibly be his best adventure yet. I like the narrator, he's so cool. His voice is so calming. So I'm going on an adventure, guys. Out of here. You guys are noobs. You guys are not interesting enough for me. Oh. Oh. Ho 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 ho! Hello there. Just then, he discovered a very old, <gasps> very sick penguin Aww. lying next to a large stone. Won't you please help me? Cried out the old penguin. I'm very sick and I'm very old. Please, won't you help fulfill an old penguin's request? The littlest penguin agreed and was horrified by what the old penguin said next. Bash my head in with this stone. End my pain, littlest penguin. The littlest penguin did as he was told. What? He wants me to bash his head in with the stone. <gasps> Something began to stir inside the littlest penguin after that. Suddenly, a rush of emotions he had never known filled him thrilled him like nothing had ever done before. This feels like heaven, cried out the littlest penguin, who set out freshly driven, given new direction to his adventure. If killing just one penguin felt that good, he thought to himself, I wonder how it would be if I killed ten penguins. And off he went to test his theory. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys said I would enjoy this. What is this? The littlest penguin came upon a small group of his peers. This will do, he thought to himself. Oh my god. Picking up a club that had been lying in the snow. I have to kill my friends? And the first one went down quickly. Far easier than the littlest penguin would have thought. <laughs> This spooked the others, but to his surprise, the littlest penguin found the more they ran, the greater his satisfaction when he finally beat them down. My and God. beat them down he did, until the last of them were reduced to little more than a red stain in the snow. Holy shit! <laughs> they don't seem to be afraid. I don't know why that's so much fun. <laughs> he just walked into it. They weren't really running away. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> it's a graveyard. <laughs> Come meet your maker. <laughs> Everybody's just walking up. They're like, okay. <laughs> Do you want to come and join the fun? Do you see all these guys? No? <laughs> They're just standing there letting me do it. They're not running away. Pfft, the jump punch. This narrator is freaky, man. He's a very good voice actor. He's freaking me out. Success! Alright. Adios, guys. Enjoy the snow and not being alive anymore. As he moved through the crowd in order to reach the other side, the Ditless Penguin felt the eyes upon him. <gasps> The other penguins began to grow weary of him, shifting their gaze as he walked by. Oh. I do not like the way they stare at me, thought the littlest penguin. I do not like it one bit. 
Perhaps, after I kill them all, I shall make a fine necklace of their eyes. This thought occupied the littlest penguin as the others wobbled nervously around them. And perhaps, a crown made from their beaks, so all can see and marvel at how beautiful I am. Okay. They're all looking at me like, please don't kill me. I don't know what's over here. Whoa. Is this a catapult? Arctic Research Center, outpost number... Oh, it's humans. Oh, are you serious? This was more like it, thought the littlest penguin. He could now return to the other penguins and make good on his plan. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at me. <laughs> look at me vibrate. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh my god. Faster oh! and faster they fell. Radiant streaks of crimson filled the air. Again he would slash at them and again they would cry out. Some attempted to vainly cram their entrails back in some. Others simply fell apart where they stood. There's so many penguins! Thrilled. Oh, how he wished this moment could last forever. The screams, the panic, the rapture that pulsed inside of him. He could no sooner explain the magic behind his elation any more than he could bring himself to stop. Not until every last penguin had been split apart. Why did you guys say I would enjoy this? This is the only way you could get me to play this game by saying that? Look at all these penguins. How could you? How could you, the littlest penguin? David Mills, AKA Suits and Nukes. When the last of them had finally stopped twitching and he no longer felt the eyes upon him, the littlest penguin stopped. Breathing heavily, he surveyed the destruction he had wrought. They were all so beautiful now. Too beautiful, in fact. The ecstasy felt by the littlest penguin slowly faded, and an undeniable sense of emptiness began Aww. to take its place. It's not fair, he thought. They are all so beautiful now. Why can't I be beautiful like them? Why must I be the only one? It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. The littlest penguin looked at the chainsaw. The blood dripped off the teeth of the blade, almost glistening in the moonlight. Suddenly, the littlest penguin knew how to feel beautiful like the rest. Aww. He knew then what it was he must do. Oh my god! Why did you guys recommend that? That was horrible. <laughs> Jesus. The story was interesting. Like, the guy who's narrating it is very good. The subtitles are a little bit faster. So I kind of read them before I heard them, and I was, like, anticipating it. I actually think it made it worse. I was horrifying. I did not... I was expecting some game where I was helping the penguins, not killing them. But I hope you guys... Got what you wanted from this. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like down below. I do greatly appreciate it. Sorry there was no video yesterday. Uh, every time I get back from a long trip, I it, I struggle to get back into the flow and energy is usually all over the place. So I'm usually like dead tired. So I'm sorry I missed a day, but we should be good now for the next few weeks. I have another trip though, so hopefully I won't get a... Uh, all stuck, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in another video. Bye! Whoa! Oh! What? Lockers, apparently. He's got Lockers! Gonna... Why are you. I am ah! safe, baby! I am ah! safe! Ah! <laughs> He's wrecking me on the chair! I'm dead. <laughs> I'm hit replay. I don't fucking care. You got me I killed. I myself anyways to be nice. <laughs> you got me killed.